In 1999, I took part in a political rally and got tear gassed by the cops. Now, up until then, I'd always thought the police were there to protect me, to protect the people that I cared about. But on that day, they didn't. We all want to feel safe, right? But it is hard to put your finger on what that sense of security is worth. However, it is easy to say what it costs. Right now, there are 4.2 million security cameras distributed all around Great Britain. That is one camera for every 14 citizens. In 2011, the U.S. government seized the personal cell phone records of 1.3 million of its citizens. There are 1,200 of us in here today. Four of us have been monitored. And two years ago, American travelers spent a combined 75,000 years waiting in airport security. You add that all up, that is a thousand lifetimes lost in line in just one year. Our security comes at a high price. Our freedom. Now, Picture how things would change, how the world would react if a handful of people suddenly developed superhuman abilities, capable of unleashing incredible carnage without ever pulling a trigger or lighting a fuse. These people would be living, breathing weapons that could pass through any metal detector or x-ray scanner or even a strip search, completely undetectable. We already live in a culture of fear. Picture how things would change. How much control would any of us have over our own lives? And which of us would have the courage to fight to get our freedoms back? I'm Nate Fox, here to introduce to you Sucker Punch's latest game, exclusive for the PlayStation 4. G6 status. G6 clear. G7 status. G7 clear. H1 status. What the hell? What was that? I, I, I don't know. B2 status. What should we do? B2 repeat status. On me. Keep your eyes peeled. The DUP is in control of the situation. What the hell? We got him! We lost B2. I want him alive.